Hey, I'm going to show you how to use StreamYard to record your podcast episodes really easily. And that's what we're going to do today in this video. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, let me show you my screen. Now, if you guys are not familiar with StreamYard, StreamYard is a live streaming studio that is browser based. You don't have to download anything. Everything runs from your browser. What you're looking right now is my actually Chrome and this is StreamYard. And so you can interview guests. You can interview multiple guests if you want. So if you have an interview format type podcast, perfect for that. You can uh, bring your guest in really easily. I'm going to show you guys how to do that here. You can add, you know, sound effects. You can do all of those things and really brand it. And if you, like me, just got access to Spotify video podcasts, you can also record the video aspect of the podcast right here on StreamYard, all right? So you can also stream to multiple platforms or one platform at the, you know, at at the same time if you want and so you can stream to facebook youtube you know linkedin i think twitch even and really any platform that has what's called rtmp uh, but that's for another video today i just want to show you how you can use Streamyard to record your podcast episodes all right so um first thing though is that if you're not set up with Streamyard first you do need to set up Streamyard, and so i have a link down below in the description that will actually give you 14 days uh, for free of StreamYard on any of the paid plans. And so that's going to be a really useful uh, link for you. Hopefully that is an affiliate link as well. So um, by using that link, you are going to be supporting this channel. So just want to disclose that. Um, what you will need when you're looking at the different plans is you're going to need what's called the basic plan. Okay. The basic plan gives you uh, six hours of recording. Okay. Six hours of recording. The professional plan uh, will give you 10 hours of recording. All right. So the basic is $20 a month. If you're paying annually, if you're paying monthly, it's $25 a month. And the professional plan is $39 per month. If you're paying annually, or 49 if you're paying monthly. All right, so there you have it. Once you're logged in, this is what you're going to see. This is the StreamYard dashboard. And so you're going to be dropped into what's called the broadcast here. So you're going to see broadcast right there. And so you can see all of my upcoming broadcasts. You can schedule your uh, interviews or your recordings. This is really good to, rec to set up and schedule your um podcast recordings if you have a guest because it gives you a link that you can share with them to then join you uh, inside of StreamYard so that you can interview them. They can participate in your podcast recording. All right. So that is the broadcast studio right there. And then um, let's just jump right into how you actually record. All right. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to be here. Like I said, you're going to be in the broadcast uh, tab right here. You're going to click on create a broadcast. See this blue button right here? And we are going to click on new broadcast. Okay, new broadcast. Now you're going to get this pop up right here. And where you want to go is just click on record only. Very straightforward. Couldn't be simpler. Record only. Okay, so let's do that. And we're going to put a title to this. So let's just say recording podcast interview. Okay and we can click on create broadcast. Okay, that blue button right there. It's gonna just create that right there. And so now it's gonna ask me, so where, uh, just to confirm my um, camera and microphone and also my display name right here. And so you can change, you can click on cam and mic. So let me just show you where that is, cam and mic right here. Right. If I click on that, that allows me to check my camera. Which camera do I want to use? I can use different cameras here. I can also change my microphone if you have different microphones or, or external microphones and things like that. And then there's a couple other things here. Virtual background, if you want to get into that or hotkeys, hotkeys. I, I will save that for another episode, another video here on the channel. But hotkeys are basically shortcuts similar to basically creating a stream deck if you may, um, directly here inside of StreamYard, okay? So uh, I'm gonna just 
stop the camera because let's just say that this is only an audio podcast. I'm going to stop the camera and just for the purpose of this uh, video, I'm also going to mute. Okay. And then I'm going to click on enter studio. All right. That blue button at the bottom of the screen, enter studio. Okay, so now you are here inside of your StreamYard studio. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna click right here just to show you around. This is the broadcast. This is basically a preview of what you would see if you are live streaming or recording, okay? Uh, you can also see here on the top right that this is a record only session, okay? You're not live streaming, you're not live going live on any channels or any of your pages. This is strictly record only okay now record only this video tutorial is a how to record podcast episodes on using Streamyard, but you could easily use this as well to record video interviews or a video of yourself as well doing tutorials and such okay now what you need to do is now put yourself into the preview here all right so that anything that you say, all the video or audio that you produce through your um, uh, microphone and camera is recorded, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click in here and click on add to stream, right? You can see this in the bottom. So if you pay attention to this part right here, this is me, this is my camera and my microphone. And so I'm gonna click on add to stream. All right, so now I am in the preview. So anything that I say or anything that comes through my video camera here uh, will be recorded, all right? Okay, so now on the right side too, I wanna show you really quick is that there's some ways here to uh, enhance your uh, video or your audio recording, all right? So there's uh, comments, now that's for live streaming. There's also banners, right? So let's say here, if I wanted to, I could put banners like that. You can see that um, really easily. Now, this is really helpful if you're recording a video podcast, okay? You can put banners, you can put lower thirds, things like that, okay? You can also change your branding, okay? So right now I've got yellow as my brand color. I can change that really easily into orange or blue or red. Or, or hot pink in this uh, case right here. There's also themes for the lower thirds or the banners. There's bubble, classic, minimal, block, all right? So really depends on what you want to do. There's also a way to show your, your name if you want. You can also put a logo if you want, just like that on the top right, right? Again, this is for video podcasts, okay? Um, okay. You can also do overlays and things like that. Now, this is something that you would normally use um, if you are, these are the features that, that you would use if you are going to be live streaming and using StreamYard to live stream. So now this is kind of cool that you can use this when you're simply recording a video or a video podcast or just a podcast alone, all right? So let's go back into my screen here. Now, what you're gonna do when you're ready is you can just click on record. Okay, really simple. <laughs> it couldn't be simpler, right? I told you guys it could not be simpler. So you can just click on this record button whenever you are ready to record, okay? And so when you do that, it will record and away you go. Now, let me show you, once you're done recording, this button right here will basically say end recording, okay? And then you're gonna press that button again, okay? And you're gonna say end recording and then the recording will be done, all right? Now, this is the, awesome part about StreamYard. I'm going to show you guys what the files will look like after you record and you're going to have so many different options um, for video podcasts or just audio only podcasts. You're going to see it right here. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back and click on uh, this uh, duck <laughs> logo right here on the top left corner and that's going to bring you back to your uh, dashboard. Okay. So here we go. And then now we're going to go to videos okay videos all right we're gonna go to videos so let's click on videos and so now you see all of my different videos and so it's not just not only uh videos that i've recorded but also live streams and it keeps track of everything now it doesn't keep it for ever okay uh it will only keep it for a limited amount of time so i believe at the time of this recording 
it will keep your recordings here for about 30 days, I believe. Okay, so that could change depending on when you're listening to this or watching this tutorial, but that could change. So you want what you want to do, what you want to do is you want to then once you're done the recording, it'll be right here. So let's pretend it's this video right here, right? What you want to do is you want to click the three dots right here and you want to download the recording. Okay, so you can see that download recording. Now you also have options here. You can also stream the recording if you want. Uh, so you can restream it again back into YouTube or you can stream it over to a different platform. Maybe you want to stream it to Facebook or LinkedIn. It's really totally up to you. Okay, but for me, I will download the recording. So let's click on download recording. And you can see here, this is the really awesome part about StreamYard is that now you have the option. You can either download the video recording, right? The normal video with the audio that you would see. You can download just the audio recording, right? This is perfect if you're a podcaster. This is what I mean. This is what this video is about. How do you StreamYard to record your uh, podcasts? And so you can download just the audio recording or you can download individual audio recordings. Now, if you are a podcaster or if you're a um, you know producer of some sort, you're doing uh, podcast editing or you understand editing, um, this is amazing because almost every single time, either you are louder than your guest or vice versa or there's something about one of your, if you have a guest, one of your audio sources, either your guest or yours, needs a little bit of touching up, right? Maybe you need to increase their volume or increase yours or decrease theirs, whatever it is, to match up your audio. And so this gives you individual audio files for you and your guests, okay? All of your guests. So if I had two guests, I would download three audio recordings myself and each of my guests, okay? Um, and so that's amazing. It makes life so much easier. It'll save you so much time, all right? And so you download and away you go, all right? And so again, reminder on the pricing plans here that on the basic plan with StreamYard at the moment, you have six hours of recording time, all right? And then on the pro plan, you have 10 hours of recording time. And so that is how you use StreamYard to record your podcast episodes. And so I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions around using StreamYard or anything around recording content, please leave them in the comments and I will see you in the next video. All right, take care.